Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today's video we're gonna be talking about our 800 GPU farm. It's finally cleaned. We got rid of all the garbage, organized all our electronics, and all our rigs are mostly online. So, giving you guys a little walkthrough. If you think that's interesting, hit like, subscribe, hit the bell, go to CryptoLLC.org if you're looking for someone to set up a GPU or ASIC farm, or if you are looking to buy yourself some GPUs. CryptoLLC.org. All right, so, if you guys watched our previous videos, you would see from those videos, like a week, two weeks, three weeks ago, how dirty it was. Now you can see that we finally got it all cleaned up, vacuumed the floor. There's still a couple of things we're working on, adding another outlet right over here. You can see some equipment on the floor, some pliers, things like that. But mostly it's done. We got our exhaust over there, four fans, nice secured exhaust. Got our intake over here, filter. You can see our filter installed now. Right there. So everything is good to go. GPUs, running a bunch of non-LHR FE cards over there. And then our LHR Gigabyte, three fan and Zotac, three fan turbos. Or actually, no, they're Gigabyte turbos. We're actually not running much Zotac here. Mostly Gigabyte 3 fan and uh, Gigabyte turbos. LHR. You can see everything's pretty much done. We still have a couple of rigs here on this side. Um, we have some 3070s, uh, FEs, also non LHR, all that good stuff. Running up right over there. And uh, gonna build to the top. And then this section, these uh, last five rigs um, we're gonna see if we can make them work or not because we're hitting the limit of this farm we're using basically all 600 amps three phase but we'll see what happens now in terms of fans you can see our intake fans here we have four of them we're gonna add another one here so that'd be five and then we got two fans in between the rows one and two now these are all running at really, really fast speeds. They're running at uh, 22,000 CFM. They're running on their turbo. They're doing a good job. You can see the suction. Really, really sucking up that filter. So, pulling some conduits for these fans. Just two plugs, uh, you know, a 20 amp conduit. One over there as well. Um, these are 120 uh, volt fans and you can see we're actually installing some of it yesterday some of the conduit here's from the rear side of the FE cards here so the FE cards um, there are 3080s and 3090s uh, the ones on this side over here and then um, on that other side we have a couple of rigs of 3070s and these cars like I said is just the um, LHR turbos and LHR three uh, gigabyte fans. Now, in terms of our equipment, all electronics, how to organize, I'll show you guys around here. We have a bunch of, you know, VGA, you know, uh, what is it, uh, eight pin, eight by eight. And we have some CPU plugs over here, our breakout boards, additional boards. You can see we have these boards here, this is uh, to power actual power supply. So it's not one of those smaller ones over there that's uh, just for GPUs. This one is for the motherboard. It's, you can see here it's got a Molex, a lot of um, six pin PSI, or PCI actually, and so on. So that's for actually powering the motherboard and then those little guys are for our uh, 2400 power supplies. We have uh, some extra Adapters over here. We got our uh, EVGA cords. These are for 1600 power supply cords here. And you can see how many we have left over, right? We have a whole bunch left over. We use up all the power supplies, but we have way more plugs than we actually need. Then we got our SATA. We got our leftover wheels from our racks. Got some rack parts over here. Got some extra conduit. Uh, we have our outlets over there. Some motherboard to test, get some uh, airflow tester over there, more conduit, motherboards. Uh, those are empty motherboard boxes right there in the corner. So we just pretty much organized everything. Got 
got a compressor we got our blower our saw just a lot a lot a lot of stuff bolts and nuts and this and that we got our washing unit here so we just got this guy here and uh, whenever we have a, a, a GPU that has a problem and we don't know what it is we don't see any problems with it it just it, it just crashes doesn't want to read or whatever it's something serious and we can't fix it and we have a a, a sonic cleaner here so ultrasonic cleaner throw in our GPU and uh, see if we're gonna clean it out might be like a little like a, like a little piece of metal that's stuck somewhere or some some you know conductive dirt the chance of that is very small but it's better to have it than not to have it so we can use it whenever we have a problem and just general other stuff I mean a lot a lot a lot of stuff you know a grinder you know a bolt press or whatever that thing is called I forget the name of it um, and so on spare parts um, you know just a lot of stuff there's those L bars over there and then inside of that we just got a bunch of um, <clears throat> pliers and and screws all that stuff then we have our Ethernet our compressor our fans our exhaust over here and so on just a lot a lot of stuff so that's basically the overview of this farm what it has in the farm Give you guys an idea uh, a lot of stuff we have here that we use um, at this farm now that this farm is almost complete a lot of those things in those boxes over there will be moved to any other future farm so uh, right now they're here but in the future if we ever have another location we'll move those boxes over there as soon as this one especially as soon as this one's finished it's almost done maybe a couple more rigs that's it but pretty much done so yeah, so that's the current uh, setup, current situation here. We got a lot of garbage over there, by the way. That's all garbage. You gotta recycle all of that stuff over there. So that's a lot of garbage, gotta get rid of it. But yeah, so make sure you guys are subscribed. We have more videos coming up. You know, in maybe in a, a couple of weeks, this location will be fully finished and uh, actually fully cleaned out. And then when, if we find another location, we'll move all of our stuff over there. And then this place will be actually empty. Well, mostly empty. There will, be ju there will only be just spare parts here. It'll be fully finished. And then it'll be really, really clean. A lot of the boxes will be gone. You see those GPU boxes there in the far corner over there. And uh, those are all, I don't know what we're gonna do with those. So many boxes. Who knows, but pretty much cleaned out everything. All right, that's gonna be it for this video. Hope you guys like it. You know what to do. Hit like, subscribe, hit the bell. Check out our other social media accounts like Parlor, Gab, Mines, BitChute. And um, Twitter, Facebook, all that other stuff. And of course, if you're looking to set up a ASIC or GPU mining farm, here's a GPU mining farm such as this one that you can consider for yourself. You can build out something like this or we'll build it out for you. Go to CryptoLLC.org, send us an email, we'll get in touch. Or an ASIC mining farm. Check out our other videos on our platform, or not on our platform, on YouTube's platform or Gab, or wherever you're seeing this video. You can check out our ASIC mining farm there. And if you're looking to buy yourself some GPUs, CryptoLLC.org. They have GPUs for sale, 3070, 3080, 3090s, 1660s, EVGA power supplies, ASICs. We sell S19s, S17s, S19 Pro, S19J, What's Miner, and so on. That's gonna be it for this video, and until next time, bye.